theoretical information that it is useful. It's about the mindset. About the mindset in the sense that this theoretical information that I feel is very practical when you are on the field. Because you can be on the field and you can think about the theoretical information and you can see yourself. Oh, I am on this phase of the graph, of the graph that I'm about to show you. Or let's say some of them. The first one, it is 1% every day. Very old concept. If you get better 1% every day, you will improve 37 times in a year. You will get 37 times better. So you end up 37 times better. Can you imagine that? That's very, very massive. Just in a year, if you improve just a little 1% every day, just a little repetition, you just think about the habit, just like take a little bit about the intention of it, maintaining it. And you will see results, high probably of that happening. I can promise uh, objective results 100% because this is, it isn't math. One plus one, it isn't always two, but I believe this is very good, nice general principles that you can adapt to your life. 1% every day, very interesting. I was in a very, very different place one year ago, even two days ago, two years ago, very, very different. And I recommend that you look to a person around you that changed a lot in a year. And you can use them to inspire you or to remember you that it is possible to gain a lot in one year. Can be, you probably remember somebody that one year she was like this, the other year she was like that, very massive improvement. You can look as well in famous people, for example, people that are your role models, that, is, that are your role models. You can look to one that had a big leap on their improvement in one year, okay? To make you feel, yeah, 1% counts and to continue to do the work because it will pay more later. Because as you can see, the more, let's say, points you have, the more you will get. Because 1% of 100, it's only 1. 1% 1 of 1,000, it is 10. And 10 is 10 times more than just 1. Huge difference. 1% of the ability of Ronaldo, it's a lot. 1% of the ability of somebody that doesn't play soccer very well, it doesn't matter a lot. And you can think about the professional athletes, for example, professional people. They look for the 1% improvements. They look for more comfortable, for more comfortable things, for more little twists that make huge gains because it compounds with other things they do. For example, cold shower with good, good food, with training, let's say the football, and exercises outside the football, for example abdominals, abs, and bicep, for example, as well, okay? So this is just a little bit, things that they grow up in top of each other. A very good example, maybe more direct one, that it even it is more, more clear to see, is on Formula One, where they win or lose just by one second, one millisecond, two milliseconds. And and the time they go out to the pit to change the tires matters. One second to change tires, that's a lot. Okay. They improve the maximum they can for efficiency. And 1% there counts. 1% of second, it counts. So you can think about that to make you go daily to push a little bit more. Graphic of faith. This graphic was invented by me and it reflects a lot, uh, a lot, a lot, a lot of what we know about uh, what is life, I would say. That applies to habits. So it is the graphic of faith. So another graphic that it represents tendentially what people think about when they are creating a habit. In the beginning, oh, 2025, I'm going to create the habit of going to the gym every day. It will be this year. She has a lot of faith, it, he, he, and that's nice, very nice. 1 of January, 
she goes to the to the to the gym. Let's say two two of January she goes three third day of January she goes fourth day she was right here right on the top but one two three day she is her faith was decreasing and now it's on the fourth day and she has like and now 